Hey, it's Joe Glantz from The Automator. And this short video, I just want to demonstrate, I know I've talked to it before, but my, my taskbar over on the right, I know I've documented this in previous videos, but uh, I didn't walk through the, the entire process. So uh, first off, if you, you can click anywhere and you can drag it unless it's locked. And, and for that, you can right click on it and uh, um, you can choose lock or unlock. And so for that, I'll move it up. And what I highly recommend is you put it up here and put it up for three days. All right, the first day you're going to hate me. The second day you're still going to hate me a little. And the third day you're going to love it. Why is that? Well, because you can get so many programs in here. You can see what you're doing. Um, but also, like the, the first thing I recommend is come in here and um, go to uh, Taskbar Settings. Um, and unpin, well, actually, I think you just right click on them. All mine are off. So unpin everything that's in that because they're enormous buttons and they take up the entire width. You notice I got, what is this? A five, one, two, three, four, five by four. There's 20 shortcuts here. And now the trick is, let me go ahead and, and turn these off. So toolbars, I'm going to uncheck each of these toolbars. So now it's basically just the start menu. Uh, the, the start menu up here. This is actually my, my X button clock. Take a look for that. Uh, it's a video I have. Um, start menu is up here, right? It's just that I hide it because I'm like, I want the clock there. And this way I can get rid of the clock down here. So I'm freeing up space, right? My system tray, I turn off the system clock, really helps open it up. Um, and I'm going to right click and say toolbars. And I'm going to say a new toolbar. And then you navigate. Now, thankfully, this shared one, I got I don't know why it always drops into it, but my shared toolbar, notice I have a lot of them. This is what's across all of my computers. Um, that'll be the bottom one. And so it actually it happened to start there. Now here, this is what I want to demonstrate, right? So what I do is to right click, first say view, small icons. Um, and then let's come up here again, right click, say, turn off the show text, right? Now we just have the icons and then turn off show title. If you do that order, it's a little simpler. Um, so now all of these down here, these are shortcuts to folders and like things like my desktop and recycle bin and stuff like that, right? Um, and then, I come in here and say, let's do add a new toolbar. Now this one is specific to each computer. So um, this one, this computer is called Kraken. So this is my launcher. It's, it's really a quick launch toolbar, right? So I'm gonna select it. Now here, now you gotta do a little kind of moving around, but you can get it up here and we want it above. All right, now this one, we do the same process, right? I'm gonna say uh, view small icons and then let's, oops, not there on the label view. Uh, show text no yeah turn off show text and then turn off show title there we go and now you can drag your taskbar up here and if you actually if you don't move stuff around you can lock it like i can actually condense this a little more here in this one i can bring it to right about there and then when i lock it they'll both tighten up a little bit more and so you get that much more and then you can have um, programs even more programs in here and uh, I highly, highly recommend this. Again, remove, unpin all the stupid stuff that take up the entire row. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know what Microsoft's thinking, uh, but basically this quick launch. So here I have, I can launch all my programs and each computer has different programs on it. That's why this one is not a shared toolbar across computers. Yet the bottom one, everything is under Dropbox. And that way on every computer, I also, I create a B drive for my Dropbox. So that's the source for, and everything in here. If we look at it, it's under the B drive. Um, and that way the paths are the same across the computer. So just a quick review of, of how you can configure this and how you free up, you know, look at our screens, right? Our screens are much wider than they um, are tall. Yet Microsoft, for whatever reason, takes up the you know, puts it across down here for default and you can't really, you know, it, um, you have a lot more room to take up a little bit of your column, you know, the width instead of the height. So that's why I greatly prefer it here. Uh, and that's it. I hope that helps. Um, trust me, turn it on, give it three days, right? The, like I said, the first day you'll keep wanting to come down here for your start menu. And, uh, it's just, it, it is annoying the first, but I've, I changed this. I don't know, like, boy, like 15 years ago. And, once you get used to it, you just realize, oh, holy cow. I also don't allow, I turn off in here, come into taskbar settings, and I don't I don't allow them to combine. Um, I forget exactly where that is. Oh yeah, right click, never combine. Because I just want to have multiple, if I have Excel open multiple times, um, I want them spread out into multiple rows. Let's see if I launch it again. It's, there we go. Um, so notice, you know, in this way, I can see which one I know which one to click to. I also turn off that thumbnail thing. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. Cheers.